it's, it's almost like the biggest award in our industry for what we do. And God, I've been to like a thousand ACRAs and I've seen some of the biggest names and my idols accept that award. So even to be nominated for it's pretty special. Yeah. So. I think I love the spontaneity. I like being part of the show because I, I hate saying this in front of them, but I was a fan of the show before I joined the show. So it's kind of a treat. So you're like a work it, experience. It's, well, person. it is. I'm, I'm, it's work experience. <laughs> it continues to be a work experience every day, and I'm still learning, aren't I? Yeah, you sure. are, but you're, you're, very, you're a quick learn. But I'm not that competitive in my life generally, I don't think. It's just that when I get into that studio, I feel like I've got to, I've got to fight. We came back because we sort of missed it and wanted to do it, and uh, and and it sort of hasn't let us down in that way. We're just uh, we're just wrapped to be you know, wrapped to be able to do what we what, what we get to do every afternoon. And the great thing about radio is it hasn't really changed. Uh, it's, it's still two guys talking into a stick with a little fluffy thing on the end of it. Yeah. We're back on air and drive slot next year. Jonesy is <laughs> is I think the most hilarious human in the world. You are probably my best friend in the universe. When you share a, such a small space every day, it'd be very, very hard doing this job with someone who, who you didn't love. So I'm glad that we're great friends. Uh, I describe you as uh, funny, smart, but very sweet. You have a very oh. sweet heart and also hugely painful on many levels. No, that was good. That was good praise. Yeah, I've ended. Did you hear the last bit? For, very pa painful. For the 50, you had to give, like, say, I'm not going to give you the money. No. Radio is as relevant as ever, and proof of that is the kind of people who you see here tonight. I mean, I'm amazed when I walk around at the Acres at the kind of people you see here. And there's so many people who are in other parts of the media who also need that radio base as well, whether they're in TV or whether they're in print. So it is vitally important, and it just seems to get stronger and stronger. Radio's continued to attract new listeners. Radio has gone to, from strength to strength while the rest of the media is staggering. I think the listeners are a big part of keeping us, us informed and what they want to know about. I am so proud of how hard everybody has worked to create what we've created. And I'm just so happy that listeners have found it and feel about it the way we do, which is passionately and, and you know, it's, it's a place to belong to. It's more than just a station to listen to. I feel like it really is a place to belong to and it's, I'm really glad that it's, it's doing as well as it is. Best Newcomer is, uh, yeah, that, that's even more surprising considering I'm 42 years old. It's just a little bit magical. We didn't really know each other, did we, before we started? And um, I don't know, it's just work. It's just the greatest joy. everything, everything that I know. Um, I've learned to back myself um, and you know what, everything. I've learned how to uh, open up a bit more. I've always been someone who has liked to keep my cards close to my chest and that's not an easy thing to do in radio. But Sam is, is a very warm-hearted, empathetic, sympathetic uh, human being and especially listening to her engage with our callers, our listeners, uh, is one of my favourite things in the world and I think has made me a little bit better in just being a bit more connected with the audience that maybe I wasn't before. It has become wonderfully, wonderfully vibrant. Uh, there are so many wonderful people on the air. Uh, the industry's expanding, it's growing. Uh, and of course, we've got all these wonderful digital platforms that just allow us to do video and just take our content to, you know, further, further channels. And, uh, you know, it's never been more healthy than it is now. I'm proud of so much. Uh, in a, a long career in radio, I've been part of so many wonderful stations, Nova Smooth, uh, but even going back to my Austereo days, I'm just proud of any radio station that really goes out there and creates a, a role for itself and uh, brings great content to play and all the wonderful people that, that, that make radio uh, the vibrant business that it is. It's an exciting year for listeners, I think, because there are so many new products in the market, there's lots of choice, and we're, we all have to be on our toes, which means yeah. great radio. For me, I get more nervous doing television than radio. I don't know about my mate Andrew. I think he... Uh, uh, writing for TV, you know, TV, every word is is important, so you're agonising for hours to get it but right. But you look so good but on TV. But when you go on radio... Right? You look so good yeah, on TV. Yeah. 
relaxing now as well in Sydney. You just want to be relaxed. Oh, smooth, very smooth, relaxing. Smooth is the most popular thing. Nobody's listening to jokes anymore. But, but we grew up on you know funny stuff. What's interesting about radio to me is it's very much still thriving. Like if you look at television ratings, the, the trend is always down. Radio's held itself. It's a medium that refuses to die. Yeah, I'm still pretty dirty about being beaten by Hamish and Andy before Rio. It was after an 8K session though, so I don't know if they can really claim it. And they only did 300 metres, I did 400, and Hamish wore fins, it's all a bit, a bit controversial. But I want a rematch. Oh, what? What happened? Oh, these guys. Gay crash in the shop. Oh, right. Photo bombing. Hi, oh, hello. Oh, good to see you. Here. You good? Very yeah. good. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Glad to be here. Thanks, how are you? It's nice to see you. Everybody's free feel good. And the winner is Oh, sorry. Kent Smallsy Small. Smallsy. I live life like it's perfect.